Good morning, good morning everybody. Welcome into my show today. Hey, guess what? We are still there at the truck stop in Portage, Wisconsin. But we are getting ready to leave. Yeah. We kind of nosed into the spot up here. Up here it's usually pretty easy to back her out. We've got lots of room, you know. So let's back her out and hit the road. Thank you guys for joining me on today's vlog. And let's see what happens today. I'm pretty sure we'll get some rain. So that's the, let's travel with me together and see what happens. Well guys, we are coming up to a scale here on 39, I-39. Let's see if they're gonna be open today. I doubt it because usually these lights would flash up if I'm okay to bypass the scale, but if not, then they would have an open sign up here to the right. Yeah, right here, and it doesn't say open, so I'm kind of thinking they're closed today. Mind you, they do have another sign up there, so I have to keep an eye on that one. But I thought for sure we was going to get some rain, but I haven't seen any. I saw a little bit of drizzle, but not enough to even put my windshield wipers on, you know. But yeah, they're definitely closed. Uh, there's a couple of four-wheelers in the scale up there taking pictures. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, we gotta continue on. And it's a beautiful day out here, though. It's not really windy at all, so it's nice, easy going. Oh, yeah, we're loving it. We'll see how far we make it today. I'm kind of thinking I'll be making it into Ohio tonight. Thinking that's my plan. We'll see how far though. I don't know for sure how far, but I'm sort of thinking like maybe go up to the Petro, one of the Petros up there in uh, Ohio. I forgot what it was called, like Harrisburg or something like that. I forget. Anyways, that's how we're solving an awesome day. We are coming into Chicago it's territory. Yeah, we certainly are. Just going through an electronic toll booth right now. That's because I got the easy pass. So I don't have to worry about having to stop there at the booth and ski, uh, pay the uh, toll, uh, toll ticket there, you know. But, uh, we are on the I-90 right now. I always like to go up there to 294 and then I go across that way. That just seems easier for me. And also there, if I go to 290, uh, it seems like there on that off-ramp or whatever, there's always a lot of traffic and stuff like that, so. Ah! Just seems like it's easier for me to go 294. But. Looks like the construction is finally winding down a little bit here on this whole stretch. Still got a little bit going on here, but not nearly as much as we've been having here for the last year or two. Well, probably two years. There's been a lot of construction coming into Chicago, so. Most of that is all done. Just this one little stretch here now, and that's just about it, you know. Slow down a little bit here for the construction zone. Yeah. Be alert. Night lane closures. Okay. Well, I guess during the day they don't close lanes. I guess just throughout the night. Anyways, we'll see what happens for the rest of today. Why don't you just tell me how you feel? And honey, we can move past speculation
but tease me just enough so I know why don't we ourselves a bite to eat you know we need to uh, we need to eat too every once in a while you know we've been on the road now for three and a half hours so I think it's time for have a pit stop here and get ourselves a good bite to eat you know then as I said earlier I was expecting to get some rain but I still haven't gotten any rain yet been cloudy all day long but no rain at all yeah and for those of you that have been following me for a while this is the truck stop where I screwed up a while back ago where I damaged the trailer yeah well stuff happens sometimes you know I actually clipped another trailer and ripped my trailer open so Luckily the other trailer didn't get any damage, but got damage on our trailer, so we had to fix it. But we took care of business, we got it fixed and went back on the road. And here we are again at this truck stop, you know? Same truck stop. Now let's go see if we can find ourselves a parking spot. And this is the truck stop that uh, Jukebox was at the other day, Trucker Jukebox. And he was talking about the double scale right here, right here to the right. We got double scales. Looks like they closed the one right now, but we got double scales. That's right. Oh yeah, it's an actual cat scale truck right there. Oh, oh, oh. This guy just not looking at all. He's just making a U. I don't want to get ran over, you know. <laughs> That's not a good idea to <laughs> get ran over, you know. No, well, we'll go pull her in over here, I think. Got lots of room up in here. I don't mind walking a little bit, so we'll back her into a spot up here and walk inside and get herself a good bite to eat, you know. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll back her in here and then we'll see you guys in a little bit. Well guys, we are here in the Petro. I will look at this bike up here. American, yeah, American Harley Davidson, eh? But we're gonna go walk around in here a little bit. They got a lot of uh, historic stuff in here. Let's have a look at that. They actually got a uh, man up there. We got a TV room in there for the drivers. And look at all the good stuff they got up here, steel. Look at that. Right up there. You hook it up. Over there, you know. How's it going, buddy? Look at that. Tons of cool man up there. Yep. They got some pictures on here for the old steel workers, you know. Look at this old fine machine they got up here. Let's read up on it a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see it. That looks like an old machine, doesn't it? Yeah. That is a really, really old machine, that's for sure. Look at that, it's even got crease nipples in it. 
Anyways, Jukebox failed to show you this machine there last time, so I figured I'd show you guys a little bit of this truck stop, so we'll be right back. Alrighty guys, we are on I-80 eastbound, yeah! Putting the hammer down towards Pennsylvania, New Holland, Pennsylvania, that's where we're going. I'm kind of making up my mind as I'm going. I think I'm not going to take a reset tomorrow. I think I'm just going to take a reset on Sunday. Yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to continue on tomorrow. I mean, yeah, I only got like 580 miles to go right now to get there. So I could actually stop right now and still make it there tomorrow if I wanted to. But yeah, I'm going to drive for another maybe two hours, maybe even three. Before I stop or for today, well, we got 200 miles, so I believe, up to Cleveland or Toledo area or somewhere around there. So, yeah, so we'll definitely make it into Ohio today, I believe. I think we're kind of almost through Indiana right now. Yeah, we'll go into Ohio. Probably stop in there somewhere. Not sure exactly whereabouts we're going to stop, but uh, we'll be stopping somewhere. So, anyways, we'll continue on with our journey and we'll be right back. Well, guys, I think we are just about done for today. Yeah, we're taking the X ramp right here. Now we're going to go to the Petro Truck Stop. This is where me and Trucker Jukebox met for the first time. Ah, it was still in winter time. Yes, it was. I didn't want to cut this four-wheeler off. No. Going to the Flying J. I'm going to go to the Petrol. Actually, they got like three truck stops in a row up here. At the Flying J, Lugs, and Petrol. Yes, they do. I guess there's a lot of truck traffic coming through here all the time, you know? So that's why they need lots of truck parking. But generally, there's not that much of a complaint about not finding a parking up here, so. Looks like even that Petro there looks like a lot in of room in there feet, still. Turn left on Baker Drive. Baker Drive, all right. I guess they're doing a lot of baking up here. Well, it looks like they got a uh, truck wash up there. Blue Beacon, they call it. Oh. There we go. Couldn't use a truck wash right now, but yeah, well, we'll wait a little bit yet. Looks like there's a destination in 0.2 miles on the left side. Big storm system just west of me here, so I might be getting showers here late tonight or tomorrow morning. Wouldn't be one little bit surprised if that was the case. This is the exact same spot where I recorded or Jukebox recorded the uh, sound horn last year in winter. I think it was last year or January somewhere around there. So yeah, this is where he recorded that that uh, You have arrived at your song, destination you know? on the left song. side. Petro <laughs> Parisburg Me going by there honking the air horn, that's what it was. That's right. Yeah, this is a fairly big truck stop. That's good. You, know, you can park a lot of trucks in here, that's for sure. And I'm just gonna go swinging around like that. Park her somewhere up here. That way it's easy to get out of here tomorrow. Yep. I'm gonna go swing her away over there. Look at that, we got lots and lots and lots of parking lot, parking spots available up here, you know. Usually it's a little bit fuller by this time, but not everybody's here yet. It's 
kind of a little weird the way they got it set up. Every spot looks like it's on an angle, which I don't really like too much, you know. I really don't know where I want to park today. <laughs> looks like we got a good spot up here. And then pull her in over here. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I am going to do. Pull it right in between this white and blue truck up here. I think that's what I'm going to do. That looks like a good spot. So let's go ahead and do that. And then uh, we'll see what else we're up to. So we'll be back in a minute or two. I think it is time to go to bed. Yeah. I think it is very, very close time to go to bed too. I'm done, you know, I'm sitting here at the truck stop, you know, at the petrol and all that good stuff, so had me a bite to eat, had me a shower, shave, you know, brush my teeth and all that good stuff, you know. Yeah, actually got lots of parking in here in the petrol yet, but uh, yeah, I finished putting together a video and all that good stuff for you guys. And uh, I had nothing left to do right now to go to bed. I got uh, 461 miles to go to my delivery place and I think I'll do that tomorrow and then I'll take a reset on Sunday so so there you go I hope you have enjoyed today's vlog though if you did give me a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel we would love to have you on board and uh, we got all kinds of interesting videos coming up so be sure to stay tuned and we will be back tomorrow. So have a good rest of your day and be sure to stick around for tomorrow. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.